Hey everyone, welcome to Zack Attack Reviews. Thank you for joining me as I break down the good and the bad of Netflix new war film, All Quiet on the Western Front. This is a remake of a remake of a book and it's based on World War I and it has the perception of the Germans versus the French and it came out with a trailer and it looked really, really interesting. But sometimes Netflix can get you with this and there are a lot of movies that they come out that look interesting and end up being mediocre. Is this another mediocre Netflix film or does it rise above before i get into that i'm gonna talk about the premise when 17 year old paul and his friends joined the western front in world war one his initial excitement and naive nature are soon shattered by the grim realities of life in the trenches this movie is rated r for intense bloody war violence and grisly images and there's a ton of that throughout the movie so this is definitely not for kids Let's start off with the good. Director Edward Berger and crew, the cinematographer, the people who did the score, uh, the people that came with the outfits and everything did a fantastic job with this movie. Not only does it look gorgeous, not only is it directed really, really well and builds the tension and show the horrors of war, but the music is chilling sometimes. It can be whimsical in the lighter moments, but for the most part, it's very telling of what's gonna come next. They have the signature sound when it's telling you like things are going to start getting worse and worse and i thought that all those elements were a character in itself especially the camera work by the director he really built up certain moments really well so that you would feel the t the intense feeling that the person that you're following is feeling and you don't know what's coming next and this is one of the best looking war movies i've seen in a long time the movie has a real texture it feels like the actors are actually at war and this is like a real thing that's happening to them you're kind of watching it not documentary style you still know it's a movie because how it looks but it just feels like this is going on with them the way their scott their skin feels tighter and drier as the movie goes on the grime on their clothes and their face the way their teeth start to decay as the, they, they're in those trenches and have to survive off minimal food and not be able to like brush their teeth and bathe for a long time they capture all those things really really well that really immerses you into the situation you're in between like the way that you smoke and light to create fear and horrific images and kind of you know you can't see what's going on so you don't know what it's coming next it, that continue to happen throughout the movie over and over surprising me and catching me off guard and the way they capture that weariness and the, the worn tornness and like the how people were mentally breaking down physically breaking down it really was the best movie i've seen in a long time that captured the realities of what it's like to be in war and i think it's one of the best ones since saving private ryan the action this movie is thrilling it's intense and it's built up really well when you feel like it's going to get into a kind of lazy boring pattern with how the fight is going to go about they throw in something in there that the enemy is going to use that catches you off surprise whether it's turrets flamethrowers and there's a specific scene that's in the trailer with tanks that is so explosive and so amazing that it just took it, bl it blew me away i really 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 enjoyed the action sequences it's hard to say this joy because it's such so horrific but it was just really cool to see the way they put the set pieces together and how they added the story dynamics to make you care about what's happening to these characters these these people that are on the western front and the, the perspective that you're looking through as you're going through these crazy action sequences there's also story plots and things that are going on with the characters that make you feel so not only like thrilled by the, the action, but you're also concerned for the characters as well. Guys and his friends have this romanticized view of war. They're gonna go there, kick ass, and come back heroes, get all the girls, and yada, yada, yada. A lot of the stuff that they pitched to people back then in commercials in the newspaper and things like that. But they're soon, soon brought to reality in their first, before they even get to the first trench. You know, this is a group of friends here the main character is a character named Paul. We see we see most of the movie through his eyes and the horrors that he sees and how like young and naive he was and how fast he had to toughen up as he starts losing people. And it really shows aspects of war that you don't usually see in war movies. Like after the battle is done, you have to collect the tags of the fallen because they need to bring something back to those people's families things like that was depicted really well and made you feel the deaths of these people that maybe didn't get that much screen time because of that because you had to face the horrors the movie is graphic it's not 
score for gore's sake it's not just in your face all the time but it, it has very haunting graphic images throughout part of this story is the germans and the french negotiating a ceasefire to end this and that was an interesting aspect as well because you're trying to you're it's like a ticket time clock you're like when are you gonna get this ceasefire done so these people can stop and go home so you had that balance of them going back and forth trying to figure out how they can get this done while also seeing these men on the field going through it while these people are cooped up looking fancy drinking tea and crumpets and and having time in their lives <laughs> just negotiating while these people are are fearing for their life all the time let's get into the bad so i think that the movie is clocking in at around two hours and 48 minutes or something like that maybe two hours and 28 i'm not exactly sure on the exact runtime but i do feel like the movie could have been a shorter not too much shorter there were certain subplots that maybe could have been either cut down or cut out that didn't have effect on the overall plot or could have just been done or used more effectively but overall it didn't waste your time i just felt like the movie could just have been a little tighter i think that the parts of the movie where it was focused on the negotiating and the back and forth between the aristocrats of the french and the germans to try to get the ceasefire weren't the most interesting parts of the movie those are the parts of the movies where i started losing interest a little bit but then it, it wouldn't last too long and you'll get back to the main characters and it drew me right back in so definitely look out for that when you watch this movie just know just push through those moments where you know they're negotiating going back and forth it's not as exciting as it could be it's not as charismatic even with somebody like daniel Bruhl you know, playing like the the german that's supposed to be uh doing the negotiating i thought he would give like a more you know exciting performance but it was very tame so that was kind of a negative for me where parts where i was starting to lose my interest in the movie Let's get into my verdict. So this movie shocked me because like I said, Netflix movies are usually mid. Sometimes they're really good, but they're really great. They're really best of the year kind of movies. But I think that this is one of the best movies of the year easily. It's so good on a technical level. The acting is really good. The, st the action is thrilling. And the story, while not revolutionary, is done really well. On all aspects, I think it, it was done really well. Like I said, I think that it's a little longer than it needs to be, but I always say I'd rather the movie be a little longer than it needs to be than too short and I don't be feel satisfied. If you're somebody that likes war movies, this is something you should definitely check out out somebody that likes thrilling action check it out as well as on netflix just press the button check it out and you're gonna enjoy your time but it is a foreign movie if you're not into foreign films or reading subtitles this is definitely not for you i think there is like a british english uh, voiceover i tried it and it's just the lips and the voice don't match and i can't do it but if you can watch it that way with that said i'm gonna want give this a b plus did you like it did you hate it what would you rate this movie drop those comments down below if you like my review hit that like button and hit the subscribe button to really help the channel grow hit the notification bell so you can be notified of my reviews reactions and ranking lists and you can watch more of my content right now.